This is my DIY fully automated contactless candy dispenser. I made this here for the trick-or-treaters that come for Halloween. I built this with the hopes to inspire others to find ways to just keep living life during the pandemic. Many parents, including myself, have to weigh the pros and cons of sending our kids out. And it can be difficult to find that balance between staying safe and having fun. But we've always been able to find a way with a little creative innovation. Now let's see how I made this automatic candy dispenser dragon with the castle on its back. Uh, to be able to fit this into my current setup with the auger, I'm going to have to attach this bolt onto there. Um, I don't really want to put a ton of effort into this, I kind of want to make this quick. And so since I have a welder, I am just going to see if I can weld this without damaging the motor. I'm sure it'll be fine. So one of my goals in building this circuit was to find a way to make sure that this thing dispensed candy but not too much. I also had to find a way to stop the kids that wanted to take advantage of the situation and just keep getting more and more candy. So this circuit incorporates a couple different components that allow me to adjust the amount of time it dispenses for as well as it incorporates a delay between after it dispenses to when it starts up again, usually about 5-6 seconds. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. I know everybody says that on the videos, but really it, it means a lot if you could. Um, just trying to see where this goes. Uh, if you guys want to see me work on anything else in particular, please put it in the comments. And uh, otherwise, hope you guys have a safe and happy Halloween. Alright, go ahead.